Hello, what's up everybody? Just before this video starts, I just want to say that I'm holding a giveaway for 10 Rockstar Destiny 2 codes. If you guys want a chance to win one of these codes, you'll probably have quite a high chance. There is a link to the giveaway in the description. Thank you for checking it out and I hope you guys the best chances. Hello what's up Guardians, welcome to another Destiny 2 news video. Now today I'm just going to go over a little update of what I've learned over the past couple of days, minus a couple of things that I want to cover in a separate video. The first thing that I want to update everyone on is EDZ tokens. These are earned by completing EDZ activities and can be turned in for EDZ XP to Devrim. You can turn them in one by one or in a group of 10 for a huge XP bonus. Next I want to show you all the rewards associated with EDZ. EDZ engrams. However, I do want to say we have seen Guardians receive rewards not included on this list, so it may not be 100% accurate. As one of the rewards, you can receive legendary crystals. These are described as remnants of powerful items used to improve gear or trade for other items. I speculate these may allow you to enhance lower rarity items, such as blues, to legendary. As well as that, I speculate they may be a currency for one of the many vendors within Destiny 2. Tell me your opinion. Do you think that I may be correct or do you think they're for something else? And if so, please let me know what you think that is down in the comments. The introduction of these new systems in patrol makes it worth actually taking part in patrol. I'm extremely excited for this as I feel patrol was lackluster in Destiny. The next thing I want to talk about is the revelation of the third subclasses. We have seen these three items drop on various people's gameplay from the EDZ. These highly suggest that they are related to subclasses, even going as far as describing them as subclass artifacts in a pop-up. It is interesting to see subclasses be part of just a random drop and it also brings the idea that there may even be more subclasses to discover. But I am excited to see the return of Night Stalker, especially because that is one of the most useful classes in Destiny 1 and brings a lot of utility to the Hunter, which is lacking so far in Destiny 2. That's all I want to go over in this particular video. Tomorrow I may be making a video on the new exotics we have seen as well as some returning exotics we have seen. So tell me if you guys would like to see that video and aside from that, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it or found it helpful and I will see you guys in the next one.